Hey, welcome to a little bonus episode here. I know normally we think of this as daily, but I had somebody call in with a question and I just thought, ah, hit me right. It just hit me right. And I thought we could all benefit from what she's asking. Hey, this is Danny. I just recently found your podcast and I'm obsessed. I'm listening to it every day. And I also signed up for one of the classes. So I'm just so excited to deepen my astrology knowledge with you. Um, as I'm doing that, I was wondering if there is a place that I can go look at the same chart you're talking about on the morning fun astrology podcast. Um, cause I love to follow along and see if I can identify the same things you are. And I was, you know, I'm casting it myself, but I was just wondering if there's a way that I could see what you're looking at. Thanks so much for great content. And I'm so glad to be a listener. Danny, I've got to tell you, there's one other kind of funny thing that we do around here is we tell each other, I love you. And we take the embarrassment out of that because we live in loving awareness. Ram Dass, look it up. It's a great song. And <laughs> Ram Dass has a song, I Am Loving Awareness. And I just say, I love you and thank you for that message. You know, because of the audiobooks that I do, I have this professional voice booth that I do all of these episodes from, and it's about six by seven or something like that, and it's all gray foam padded walls, and it's dark in here, and when you're sitting in here staring at a computer screen, and you just never know. So when you're sipping your chai tea and you open up a message like that, it really gets you. So Danny, thank you. You made my day quick answer. The chart is always an equal house system daily transit chart. So I cast a chart and I usually set it to just before or just after sunrise. And my chart location is set to Asheville, North Carolina. That's not exactly where I am, but it's close enough. Then I do two other things. I have the Honeycomb Almanac that we've talked about here quite a bit, the Honeycomb Astrology Almanac. I'm always looking at the monthly calendar, I'm looking at the weekly section, and then I'm also looking at the monthly summary where it shows the ingresses and the lunations, etc. And I'll come in and even check that again, but then on Sundays, one of my Sunday morning routines is that I get the almanac and I get Time Nomad is another one, the phone app Time Nomad, and then I map everything out, and on my notes program in the computer, I map the week out, day by day. And then I'll look ahead like I'm doing right now because we want to know that these aspects that are coming up, and of course a lot of people are talking about them, but they're on my radar too. And then the other thing is just to feel the chart. That's where sometimes it gets emotional around here. But I have the sun literally on the same degree as my Neptune, so it's pretty easy for me when I do tune into that uh, if I'm tuned into the shadow side of that, then you would want to turn this podcast off because it would be a pile of rubbish. Lies and deceptions, the shadow side of Neptune, right? But I try to always come in here and I love, I my booth is upstairs and I walk up those stairs and I just love that moment that I'm getting ready to come talk to you. So I really truly do protect my vibration on a lot of fronts. I protect it from... Other influences, I protect it by eating clean, what goes in my body. I protect it with exercise. So I'm doing all I can to stay physically and spiritually fit to be able to come in here at any moment like this right now and fire this thing up and be able to talk to you clean. Danny, I hope that helps, and thank you. I really appreciate it. Y'all follow along, and you'll see a dozen more things than I do. That's the other thing is try to condense it into about five or six, seven minutes, and often that's a little bit difficult. So you guys have a great one. See you back tomorrow.